Uh, salvos now. I'm going through tea towels like I always do. And how ironic what I find here. This is amazing because I find my first alpha, my first alpha bit of merchandise thrifting. We're heading north, about an hour drive from my place. There's three thrift stores next door to each other. I think there's one across the road as well when me and Frankie went there about six months ago. So I'm gonna hit those four. I've only got, once I get there, two hours to hit four thrift stores, which is easy. 30 minutes each one, beautiful. That's all you need, comps are in my head. I've got high expectations today because I've been having a bad uh, run lately because the Perth op shops, thrift stores, just been no good, just no good to us. Let me show you what I don't pick up and then at the end of the video, show you what I do pick up. Let's do this. Alright, this Good Sammy's is usually a pretty okay Good Sammy's, but we got the uh, Save the Children across the road there. Uh, it's always hard to cross that road actually. Always the traffic is crazy. So let's grab a basket. Against my rules, I always say do not grab a basket because then you won't find anything. And it's the truth. It is the truth. So we're going to look at this Paul Hazelby signed picture. I wanted 50 bucks for that, so I said no chance in hell that can stay on the wall. I uh, don't know why they've got a Paul Hazelby uh, signed picture next to the panties. Uh, so we have a look through the t-shirts. And um, all the t-shirts here are $5 flat rate straight up, which is good. Um, I don't like it like the salvos when you have to look at different prices when one's $12, one's $15, one's $19. But uh, it was slim pickings today in the uh, good semis. Did find this. This is some soccer guy. Uh, is that a Diego or some, uh, some I, I don't know his name, I don't follow soccer, but I left that, not quite sure of uh, soccer or uh, football, you call it over there in England. Um, that is a fake, that is a fake, fake, fake Geelong uh, jersey from Bali, so we'll leave that. No one's going to pick that up for $5 unless they have half a brain. Um, this little guy on the horse, I always see these shirts. Now, was I stupid putting this back? Was I stupid putting this back? I don't really know that brand, um, but I've, I swear I've seen it before. I swear I've seen it before. Uh, you know when you get to the red section, look at this uh, EMD motocross. Uh, motocross? Yeah. Uh, eat my dirt. Uh, motorbike uh, shirt. For $5, I, uh, I probably could have picked it up, but I left it. Um, you know when you get to the red section, you're always going to find Manchester United uh, shirts. But... Um, <laughs> Uh, we get to the jumpers and check this bad boy out. I'm going to show you this in show and tell uh, proper, but the living end jumper, that is beautiful jumper, that one. Uh, for $8, that's going straight in my basket, and that's from the 90s. Uh, the living end, uh, an Australian rock band. I love the living end. Okay, hats, I'm... Uh, I don't know about you guys, there's a scorpion mask. Get over here! Um, I still... I'm kind of disgusted touching hats. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I don't like touching hats, but I just don't. I just don't like touching hats. So we went through the CDs. Uh, there was the only VHS I could find was this $10, $10, $10 box set of Lord of the Rings. They can stick that up their ass. I'm not paying $10 for that. So that could stay there. Uh, and this woman walked past and I noticed uh, this block mount here. Now, this was $10. This is of an old uh, 70s or 80s movie, uh, horror movie, slasher. Let's say slasher, not horror movie, slasher, maniac. Um, I could get some good money from this block mount. I uh, don't know what year this block mount was actually made, but it's uh, based on the original movie, uh, Maniac. So this is definitely one that um, I don't usually pick up block mounts or anything like that. But um, it's such a nice, such a nice picture uh, and poster. I love the artwork, so check this out. They have now, I haven't been here for a while, they've put this can collecting uh, area in the uh, thrift store. You can drop your cans off, weigh them, clean them, and uh, get some money. This lady there is going crazy cleaning her cans, and uh, she's going to get some dosh for that. 
find a uh, Hawthorne 2014, is it? 2015 uh, uh, football. They wanted $10 for this and it was fake signatures all over it. Um, yeah, so get your cans ready, darling. Get your cans ready. Get them all washed. Get them crushed and get some money for them. Pretty damn good idea. So let's go to the next op shop. This was um, Charity Place next door. Masonic. Masonic, uh, not a very good one. It's more of a boutique one, uh, one of those ones where they uh, jack prices up already. Um, as you can see, it's a it's a very clean, very clean uh, thrift store, which is a good thing sometimes because sometimes you can find some really nice things. But um, overpriced. There was a whole heap of videos up there, which uh, were crud, absolute crud. Uh, nothing that I wanted to pick up. Found some vinyls, um, some kids ones, which were pretty cool, but they wanted a little bit too much for them. Um, so, you know, the Ugly Duckling and Rapunzel and uh, David and Goliath. And um, look at the size of David's legs. He's got some monster legs there. No wonder he beat Goliath. Uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Food Glorious Food, but the back was all fucked up. Why would you even bother selling that? Uh, found some VHS tapes and... Um, they wanted, what? They wanted $3 for a blank tape? Fuck off. No chance in hell. Uh, I don't even want to freaking imagine what they want for that. No way. Go to hell. Ah, uh, yeah. So, the prices were pretty steep in this uh, thrift store. It wasn't my cup of tea at all. But, um, let me know in the comments. Uh, I don't know what channel, but someone has said Starbucks stuff is worth money. Uh, I left it because I want clarification on that um, and uh, there's an old health monitor there five bucks but uh, definitely not worth picking up but it's still pretty cool seeing that old shit um, but yeah Starbucks stuff is it worth it is it worth it so let's go to the Vinnie's uh, Vinnie's is one of my uh, nightmare thrift stores nightmare thrift stores doesn't matter what area it's in uh, it's always a thought that was going to be a uh, Port Power jersey then. I was very excited when I saw the teal colour, but uh, unfortunately it wasn't. It was just a local team, so I left that, and I usually get the local team ones. Uh, but um, always look for the jumpers at the moment of the winter. How many Australian pairs of shoes did they want? Uh, these were 10 bucks each. 10 bucks? Yeah, 10 bucks each. Uh, there was a lot of them. I could have picked them all up, but uh, I don't think they're worth any money at all. This is an NRL uh, Cowboys shirt, jersey with tags. Um, I've found a bit of uh, NRL stuff lately, but um, no, nah, I left this one. I, think, I don't know if this one was meant to be for fishing or whatever, but I left that. I wasn't sure. Just wasn't sure with that one. I think I made the. I think I made a good decision. I think I made a good decision. There was a Billabong jumper. Um, it was a nice Billabong jumper, but. It was a bit cruddy. I, I left that, and I wasn't paying 15 bucks for it. Uh, and a lot of these jackets here were pretty expensive. Like there was a lot with $40 tags on them. And come on, like this is a thrift store. That was a nice jacket. I, I wouldn't have minded it for myself. But um, yeah, a little bit overpriced here in Vinnie's, uh, as per usual, as per as per Vinnie's policy. Uh, never heard of this brand before, but $40. No way. Go to hell, get back in there. Uh-uh, all $40. But there was some really, really nice jacket. There's a nice Canadian uh, badge on that one. And um, some some good some good shit there, but it's a little bit cheaper. Even stuff that's um, unbranded, like uh, not a brand that uh, you want to sell, but you can wear it yourself and get some uh, good cheap stuff. But you no, know, they don't sell them cheap. Uh, Salvos now. I'm going through tea towels like I always do, and how ironic what I find here. This is amazing because I find my first Alf, my first Alf uh, bit of merchandise thrifting. Only three dollars they want for it. Um, I know I don't usually show you until show and tell, but I couldn't believe that. Um, and and in the tea towels as well. I'm still uh, I'm still stoked. Uh, only going through the tea towels at the moment. Uh, the Star Wars uh, books I like to keep for my own collection and uh, Revenge of the Sith here and uh, they want um, a little bit too much uh, cash for these books and I'd like to for a couple of dollars but what have we got here? Five dollars! No way! 
Uh, look, not even for my own collection, I'm going to pay $5. Uh, this was a nice Star Wars one there, and uh, they wanted $4 for that one, and uh, you know what? Uh, I think I was happy to pay for that to be in my collection of Star Wars books. Um, I didn't want the Phantom Menace. I did want this Aftermath uh, one, but $5 as well. Uh, you know, I suppose $20 brand new, but 5 bucks, like... Uh, another five dollars. I, I, I wasn't. I wasn't paying it. This one was three dollars, so I don't mind putting that one with my collection. But it's just a little bit too much. Now this Furby. This Furby. I don't know if you would you have picked this Furby up. I've sold Furbies a fair bit actually. Um, but uh, usually get about forty bucks for them. I left that Furby. I left that Furby. Um, I'm not enjoying buying things that are battery operated uh, lately. For the fact that um, there's been a lot of corroding in uh, a lot of stuff that I brought. These shorts were, it was actually a tennis skirt. Uh, decent price. I thought it was Adidas, but it was at some cheap fake uh, brand that looked like it said Adidas. Uh, new with tags. So it was like a tennis skirt. I think it was a tennis skirt. Um, don't know what I uh, would have got for it, but um, it wasn't Adidas. So I chucked that one back didn't bother with that one today so we crossed the uh, busy road to the save the children op shop and uh, you gotta love it when you rock up to an op shop and there's a nice notice on the door all clothing two dollars thank you very much I will uh, take your offer uh, first thing I find is this uh, little magic hat uh, not bad but there was a little dandruff in it uh, disgusting look at all the dandruff on the top of it it was fucking gross and there's my fear of touching other people's hats don't like it that's why I don't touch them I don't I, there's something I didn't pick up now would you have picked these up for two dollars each two dollars each are these first aid um, vests so first aid vests there was a ton of them uh, there was actually a ton of them on top sealed as well so that I don't know if that was a good pick up or not so I left them all the tags on them and all that as well but because they had so many of them I uh, just gathered in my head how many have they actually sold already um, to other people so how many are going to be already listed um, so there was an absolute shit ton up there uh, so I left that I left that but would you have grabbed those uh, first aid first aid things now look at this Barbie uh, they're saying this is a retro they want ten dollars for it they're saying it's retro, but it's 2011, I think it was. Uh, $10, not retro, it's ripped. 2011 isn't retro, dickheads. Uh, oh, for God's sake, here we go. There's another one of these bastards. Uh, another one of these pricks. Uh, I don't know what tally we're up to, but we're chucking it up on the screen there. Uh, we're doing a tally for the platypus. Uh, platypus tally, and uh, yep, we'll chuck uh, Mr. Platypus up there. Here's another one on the board. And I found a whole heap of videos. Uh, Nirvana. Um, so there was a whole heap of videos here. I did grab a whole uh, few. Uh, there's uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger pumping iron. You get 10 bucks for that straight away every day of the week. They were a dollar each, so uh, you gotta be careful when you're buying them for a dollar each. But there was a lot of cool ones in there. And uh, I was happy with that pickup, and um, a bit damaged, but uh, some of these ones go pretty good. Very, very good, and um, Lethal Weapons, they've just been all put on Netflix at the moment as well, but uh, the, 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 the old video shop um, covers, the big box ones, go pretty good with Lethal Weapons and uh, all those types of movies. There's Bananas in Pajamas that will uh, sell, not Bogans in Pajamas, but Bananas in Pajamas. Okay, so that was um, five stores in two hours. I think I broke my own rules there and uh, showed you a little bit of uh, what I did get already. But we're going to head back to the uh, shed. I'm going to show you everything that I got. We'll do a little bit of a breakdown and see what it's worth after I've uh, looked it up. I'm happy. I'll give this thrift a uh, C plus so far. Nothing to get excited about and uh, call your mum and say, Hey, ma, look what I found today. Nothing to get excited about. But uh, let's definitely go do the show and tell. Let's go back to the shed and uh, let's add this up and see if it was worth the trip out, the two hours, the five stores. Let's do this. So we'll start off with the bread and butter stuff. The bread and butter stuff I do love. 
Um, look, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight VHS tapes for a dollar each. Uh, and I got this Whispering Jack, John Farnham, cassette tape for a dollar as well. Um, I can only get about 10 bucks for this one. This is bread and butter stuff. And all these videos I can get uh, 10 bucks for. Except for Police Academy 2, I should be able to get $20 for this one. I love this movie. I love this cover. I, I kind of want to keep this one for myself. Uh, who knows, I might. But um, all bread and butter stuff here, which would go so fast. Like, you know, your Lethal Weapon 2, because this is your video shop store one. And especially Lethal Weapon 1. Uh, definitely go pretty fast. And your bananas in pajamas. So this right here, all bread and butter stuff. I spent $9 on all this stuff here on the bread and butter stuff and I should get 100 bucks. Once it all sells, 100 bucks worth of uh, coin here. I got these three Walking Dead books. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately I paid $3 each for these um, and we're only going to get 10 bucks back each book. Uh, you could call it a bad buy, I could just go ahead and put them in my own collection, but um, I'm going to put 30 bucks back in the kitty, unfortunately it's $9 out of the spending, but um, I thought these were really good buys and good pickups, and I was hesitant with $3 paying that, uh, but I did, and... Uh, Once again, another maybe bad buy, but I'm just going to have to end up putting it in my collection. Uh, this was $4, this Star Wars one, and this one was $3. I left all the other $5 Star Wars uh, books there. I can only get 10 bucks for these. I'm only going to make 6 bucks on this one. Ah, I can make 7 bucks on this one. Not happy. Uh, this one probably go in my collection. This one I reckon will go for a little bit more, because uh, it's a bigger one and an old one. but. Um, We'll see. You get bad buys, and uh, but I collect the Star Wars books, so it's all right. It doesn't matter. But um, I did overpay. I way overpay. This Bunnings shirt for four dollars. Very happy with this Bunnings shirt. Um, buy comps. People want this. People want to buy Bunnings shirts. Uh, so I can get about 40 bucks for this, maybe even 50, and I'll put it up at 50, and this is actually a staff, this is a staff shirt. So I'm gonna put 50 bucks in the kitty, because I'm, uh, I'm pretty confident that um, someone's gonna buy this. Don't ask me why people wanna buy these, but they do. This is a WWE 2000, 2000 limited edition, limited edition 2000, uh, Apex Predator, Randy Orton, the legend killer, RKO, everyone that knows wrestling knows this one, official WWE, uh, official WWE uh, t-shirt, it's limited edition, size 2XL, really nice shirt, hard to find on there, uh, Randy Orton shirts are going pretty good at the moment. I can get between $50 and $100 for this one, so I'm actually going to put $100 in the kitty because I really think that I'm going to get $100 for this one, and I think this will sell pretty fast because the Randy Orton stuff at the moment is selling pretty good, so that was a good $5 pickup, that one. The Apex Predator, Randy Orton. Okay, I did get this big block mount. Uh, Maniac. Whoa! <laughs> so I got this big block mount Maniac. Um, this is fucking cool. Uh, I reckon I'll get on uh, Facebook Marketplace about fifty to a hundred dollars for this because this is pretty fucking uh, hard to come by and hard to find. Old seventies uh, horror slasher. So ten bucks into fifty to a hundred. So I haven't decided what I'm going to put in the kitty on this one yet, but I'm pretty confident that I'll get uh, fifty to a hundred. Easy 50. I reckon 100 though. But um, who knows, this might stay in my collection. Two more items. Um, wasn't much in this thrift, but you've seen both of these when I picked them up. And this one I am pretty confident I'll get $100 for. 
This is an old 90s living end jumper. That is a really, really nice living end jumper. If you don't know the living end, they sing uh, Prisoner of Society from West End Riot. Aussie band, uh, that's a really nice jumper. Uh, I paid I paid eight bucks for that one and uh, I'm confident that will go for a hundred. Last but not least, my favorite pickup of the day. I'm just talking to Frankie about uh, how I want all the ALF, I want all the ALF uh, DVD seasons and um, ALF merchandise and then I go and find this. I am definitely gonna sell it. Um, this was only $3. Um, I'll probably only get about $40 to $50, so I'll just put $40 in the kitty instead of being greedy. But this is uh, 80s, this is, um, this is cool. I love Gordon Shumway, I love ALF. Uh, so this is a good piece, I love this pickup. It was a small pickup, but I'm only a part-time reseller, but I spent $57, I only spent $57 more than I'd like to uh, spend usually, but it's gonna be a good kitty, I think, because uh, there's some good items in there that are gonna get some good cash back once they sell for fees and taxes. Bring up the kitty! All right, kitty, kitty, for four fees and taxes, we paid $57. We found out, we found it again, we found a block mount, we found all those VHS tapes, which we love VHS. Uh, just, your, you know, bread and butter. How much, kitty? Mm, $490 for a weekend trip. Anyone can do it if you're a part-timer. Remember, everything's gonna set back off, kitty. Fuck off. Everything's got to sell first. You've got fees and taxes and all that as well. So don't forget all that. Don't get down on yourself if you've got stock sitting in your uh, inventory eBay room. Because don't you worry, we're not professionals. Everyone's going to have stock. That's me for this week. I'll see you next week again. Uh, do us a favor, please. Just uh, if you're enjoying all this content, thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and give the little do bell notification. Do it all. You know what to do. See you.